all of us fall into one of four behavioral styles. All of us fall into one of four behavioral styles. And all these styles have got different attributes. For example, we're either an analytical, an amiable, a driver, or an expressive. So we're going to look at the differences of each of those particular styles and look at the pros and cons of them. The one thing that became very interesting for me when I first started studying styles was that I found managers in very senior positions who were drivers and I always thought, well, that is the style that you've got to have to be in a senior position. And as the years went by, I noticed that that is absolute nonsense. The greatest manager that I ever worked for was an amiable of note. And one always thinks that a friendly sort of person like that couldn't be a captain of industry. And yet they often are. So some of the greatest people that I've worked with have been analyticals. And some of the worst people that I've, been, that I've worked with have been analyticals. And so you start finding that st your style has got nothing to do with how successful you are or not. I've seen many drivers who are lazy and who are not effective. And I've seen many amiables that are extremely driven. It is merely the style in which you approach your work. And that has got nothing to do with how effective you are. So let's look at the different styles and you'll be able to relate to which one is your natural style. And the good news is that when we're with somebody who's got a completely different style, we can change our style for a short period of time. And the research shows it's around about 40 minutes and then we revert back to our natural style and they call that matching. So if you're with a very analytical person and you're a very exuberant uh, expressive Nothing wrong with that, but maybe you want to tone down slightly for the period of time that you are working with that person. But as I say, after 40 minutes, you're going to revert back to your original style. So let's look now at an analytical, and let's look at their particular uh, characteristics. Firstly, we see that they typically are low reactors. They're critical, stuffy, picky, serious, orderly. They demand detail and they can be known to be quite unforgiving. So those are typically the characteristics of that particular style. Now what we don't want to do, what we must never do, is show a big picture too early to an analytical, because they want the detail. Don't be flippant with them, and certainly never shoot from the hip. You must do your homework before you actually, um, but what you must always do is always include detail and always have your correct facts and show how a solution evolved from detail. Those are the elements that will enable you to work more effectively with someone whose style is analytical. And again, we can see if your natural style is to be a driver where those things don't come naturally to you, well, you're going to have to adjust while you're working with that person, but probably for about the 40 minute period, and then you're going to revert to your natural style. So now let us move on to drivers. Firstly, we see that their characteristics are pushy, typically severe, tough, dominating, strong-willed, independent, practical, no nonsense. They're, dis they're, de they're decisive people typically. So how do we treat them? Well, what we see, what we must never do is never have long intros. They want to get to the point. Focus. Uh, uh, never focus on the relationship and never be flippant. So what we are doing is giving broadband categories now and often there's a hybrid of these different styles. They're not as hard and fast as that but that just gives you a feel of the things that you should never be doing with them. But what you should always be doing with a driver is always get to the point. Always focus on the bottom line and always show a watertight plan. If you follow those basics with a driver, they're typically going to want to work with you. So now let's move on and have a look at amiables. Amiables are typically conforming, they're caring, supportive, respectful, willing, agreeable, and friendly. I often tease and call my amiable friends bunny huggers. With an amiable, what one must never do is push them. Don't ignore the human element. 
These folks, folk are very tuned into the human element, and we must always pay attention to that. Always make them feel comfortable, and always focus on the relationship. So let's now finally look at the expressives. These are excitable, undisciplined, high reactors, often uh, egocentric, a little wacky, enthusiastic, dramatic, and friendly. What we never want to do with an expressive is deflate the ego. Don't focus on the detail and don't cut them short. Those are key things to focus on when dealing with expressives. Always, however, support their enthusiasm. Let them tell you about whatever it is that they want to tell you about and always focus on the big picture. So if we follow these basic principles, you're going to get a feel for the different styles that your client or the person that you're interacting with uh, uh, is uh, and what your natural style is. So remember, you can alter your style for short periods of time to suit their style, to make them more comfortable. But most important to remember is that every style is acceptable. I'll bet my bottom dollar that you've got friends that are very introvert and other friends that are very exuberant and very extrovert. And you don't like them for their style. You like them for the character ethic of the individual. It's those things that matter, not their style. So don't be seduced to believe that your style is wrong or if you're an amiable, you're not going to be successful or you've got to be a driver. That's nonsense. Every style is perfectly acceptable. Every style is equally effective. It's a question of your natural style and having the wherewithal to match another person's style to make them more comfortable for short periods of time.